On Friday the 8th, Connor, Michelle, our cameraman Wyatt, and myself went up to do a private solo investigation with just the four of us. What we want to start doing in 2016 is go up and do solo investigations with just the team to counteract our public investigations. Mostly this is in order to follow up some of the questions that we get on the public investigations of the Stanley and gives a chance for us to just kind of talk to the spirits one-on-one -on -one and not only re-establish our relationships with those spirits again, but to try to solve some of those mysteries that have come up every week with the regular groups. So to start off the investigation, I decided that it would be best to have Connor go up and do a solo investigation by himself in the balcony. Carl decided that it would be a good idea for me to go up to the balcony by myself and see if the spirit who was trying to get a hold of me in November, early December would stop by and maybe finally communicate with me and possibly give me a message. It's different because I'm used to being here with a huge group of people and you know, people wandering all around and everything and, and this is a totally different vibe. If there is anyone here who's been trying to talk to me. Please talk into this red light in my hand. And I might be able to hear you. Something I've never done before at the Stanley Hotel is investigate by myself. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do right now is investigate a little in the women's bathroom on my own. Now, out of us three, I'm the only one who's allowed to be in here technically. We put Michelle by herself in the women's bathroom because there seems to be a spirit that's a little bit prickly in there, doesn't like a big sense of humor happening, and doesn't seem to like the large group atmosphere, and possibly having men in that restroom investigating as well. So this is gonna sound kinda weird, but I'm gonna start off with the lights on. I knew I wanted to leave the lights on, at least at the beginning. I wanted to keep the most normal conditions of the bathroom as I could, at least just to test it out. And I feel like there might be someone in here that doesn't really like people, and so maybe you would just talk to me. Hello? Is there anyone here? Who's here? So I went up to the balcony and spent a good half an hour just sitting up there, doing spirit box sessions, doing burst sessions with my audio recorders, um, asking for different interactions, and I really, really tried um, to get this spirit to show up and talk to me, but uh, to no avail. There weren't any conclusive results at all. I'm sitting there and I, I turn the spirit box back on, I'm sitting in the dark, and I'm just about to look at the camera and tell you, know, you guys as viewers that it's okay to be scared during a ghost hunt. A lot of people think you're not allowed to be, but you are. And as soon as I try to say that, I just froze. And I couldn't speak and I wasn't moving and it felt like about two minutes. I, it was probably really just like 10 seconds, but I just froze and it was just such a fear and a, get out feeling, I finally just, you know, I, I usually try to push through that, but I finally just said, nope, and got up and walked out and went to go find Carl because I couldn't handle being in there by myself. Maybe it's because I am a girl by myself in the bathroom. I'm an easy target. I don't know. I just, this hotel lately has gotten to me. Like this has never happened in my paranormal career. And all of a sudden I just keep getting really overwhelmed, so. After my momentary freak out in the dark by myself, cameraman Wyatt came on in with me because I couldn't handle being in there by myself. So we decided to turn the IR off and just investigate in complete darkness and we have the spirit box running. We kept getting kind of, you know, a feeling that it didn't want us there. And so Wyatt says, what do you want me to do? And it says, leave.
While Michelle was doing her investigation in the bathroom, I was sitting out in the common area by myself. It was so clear, I heard it through the door and thought it might have actually been Michelle saying it. So I think it's a really cool clip. Again, the spirit box, it's kind of a tricky one to really buy into, but when a voice is that loud, that clear, and that specific of a response, it could be kind of tough to deny.